It is a really sunny day in uh, in Florida, in South Florida. They call this the Sunshine State. Uh, what's up, YouTube? Freaking the thumbnail is is true. Freaking, I received a subpoena from the one and only Grant Cardone, and my battery is about to die. So one second. So honestly, I had no idea how I was gonna make this video and I still don't, so I'm kinda just planning everything by ear, but I wanna tell y'all a story about how I got introduced to Grant Cardone. Always let the cops go by. Always let them do their thing. And also, I uh, wanted to explain why I received this uh, subpoena. Um, because that is another awesome uh, weird story that is actually sadly still kind of going on right this second so anyways good old Publix so this is uh, this is around the area that uh, me and a group of uh, people got together to pull something really nice on Grant Cardone um, and also that is the whole nice thing that we did for Grant Cardone is the whole entire reason why I uh, got this uh, subpoena. But first I want to tell you all how I freaking um, was introduced to Grant Cardone. Holy sh**, that sun is bright. So I first met, I didn't meet Grant, but like I first got into him probably like two or three years ago. I was living in uh, North Miami and a friend told me about him and he was like yeah he actually like lives or his uh, his his office is like right down the street from where you live and I was like what the heck and so I uh, I learned about 10x his book and I bought it and I read it and I started watching his YouTube videos his podcast and really getting to know him and uh, I've been listening to him ever since and it's been like three years. I've moved like a dozen times, but mostly just around the South Florida area. And uh, I actually saw a post um, from Grant saying that he was hiring. So I've actually been to Grant Cardone's office for like, I mean like three times already for job interviews. And uh, the first time that I went to interview with him, I had only known who he was for like a week and I didn't know shit about him. And uh, so I just went in blindly. I didn't even know what the job was about. I just went in and uh, tried to interview for this job and they just completely were just like, fuck you, uh, because I didn't know what I was doing. The second time uh, I went in, um, I sort of had a better idea of who he was. And um, I actually legitimately tried to get a job, but uh, I was just like not in the right state of mind. Apparently, um, a lot of the people that have worked for Grant say it's a really hard work environment and uh, I guess I just didn't have what it took to work in Grant Cardone's office which is fine with me like the more I've gotten to know him the more I don't want to work for him but at the same time I'm still learning and growing from him yeah I mean other than that I've uh, kind of sort of messaged him back and forth like on, on IG snapchat and uh, stuff like that he's actually really uh, He's, he's cool if you're cool with him, I guess. And uh, in this case, when me and uh, another YouTuber, Meet Kevin, uh, decided to do something nice for him, uh, this is kind of what happened. By the way, speaking of Meet Kevin, for any of your real estate needs, contact Meet Kevin right here. Uh, he's also got a real estate course, investing, and for realtors that y'all can sign up for. And it's super cheap for what it is. Uh, and you also should check him out. He is the mastermind behind uh, what we did. And I used to have a video for what we did, but um, obviously with being subpoenaed and with Kevin, you know, kind of being in a altercation, is that a word? In a, in a, in a bind, I guess. Uh, I took down the video, took down the teaser from my Instagram. Uh, so what had happened was a big group of us decided to uh, deliver like a ton of flowers to Grant Cardone's office, right? Uh, and this was around Christmas time. So, you know, we dressed up as Santa and elves. 
We had little red wagons that we pulled and uh, we went to Grant Cardone's office and we delivered all of these flowers. The long story short, um, Grant did not like this. He was actually uh, pretty pissed about it and uh, Kevin ended up getting cuffed. Uh, I mean, I mean, I freaking, you know, and just like all of this happened before the 10X Growth Con, 10X Growth Con 3, which by the way, uh, I procrastinated. I still kind of wanted to go, but I didn't go uh, because I procrastinated. There were tickets as low as 50 bucks and you know, I, it was a Friday, a Saturday, and a Sunday, and I worked a double on Friday, and then I went, I, I decided, screw it, I'm just gonna show up to the 10X Growth Con, and this happens. Ouch! Ouch! Make success your duty, whatever it takes. It ain't your daddy's economy. True freedom in business, career, and finance. Cardone Zone starts now. And so yeah, I get I get to the 10X Growth Con and I find out that I can still buy tickets there, right? Well, she the the lady that was selling the tickets freaking told me that they're like quadruple the price, uh, which makes sense because I procrastinated, and so I didn't actually get to go inside. I got to listen from outside, but I didn't actually get to go outside. But I did. Uh, they did give me a nice little. 10x 10x flag so i guess i just paid 20 dollars for the parking to talk to people outside of the 10x growth con and uh this 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 flag but uh anyways this is where it all happened actually right here pretty pretty sure that's uh cardone enterprises right there yeah that's uh definitely cardone enterprises we've got the 10x flag right here yeah. Anyways, I just came here for the thumbnail. It's funny because the subpoena actually says I have to show up here to uh, Grant Cardone's office. I'm just trying to get a thumbnail real quick. Does that work? Maybe. Yeah, just for the sake of, uh, of Kevin and being respectful, I'm not going to try to cause any more alteration issues? Issues. Let's just f call it issues uh like trying to go in or anything so now i'm gonna read you what this subpoena says that i have to do so pretty much this uh this, this subpoena pretty much states that i have to show up at grant cardone's office and give them all of the video um all of the sd cards all of the cameras all of the receipts all of the text messages everything that was associated with uh, what we did with the whole flower thing and um, And I'm supposed to pretty essentially turn it all in I guess I received this thing like two days ago in the mail so I immediately um, I'm trying to find find a, a way to be careful about what I'm saying and also like just be more like respectful but essentially what happened is there was an altercation with the dates so pretty much this subpoena is useless like literally i can i can throw this away like i i could step on it i can burn it i can do whatever i'm gonna frame it because i just think it's kind of cool to have received a subpoena from grant cardone but it's if ineffective because uh the dates were wrong and also um okay hold on let me just put it like this i found a way to there communication wise with grant's team and with what we did in our team and found out that this subpoena was not actually ever supposed to be delivered to me in the first place. So I am free. I am Scott free. Um, on the other hand about uh, Kevin though, hashtag free meet Kevin. Meet Kevin does just like a lot of exposing videos, right? And, uh, you know, this isn't like the first time that he's, um, like gotten in, in trouble with, with people. And I feel like they, those people that he's exposing and telling the truth about and trying to let the world know about what these types of people are doing needs, needs to be recognized, uh, for it in a positive way. Kevin's doing for us what a lot of us wouldn't do 
let me just put it this way. Me, me, Kevin's just got like some balls to be doing what he's doing. And, uh, you know, that pretty much sums, sums it all up. Freaking make sure and check out me, Kevin right here. And, uh, I make videos on this channel all the time. It's, uh, typically random. You never know what you're gonna get. Things about how to stay sober. Things like this. Me venting. Like, making a, uh, ridiculous video, uh, about doing something weird. I don't know. But make sure to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, leave a comment about what you thought. Uh, I've got a new podcast out called The Jake McCollum Show, if you want to check it out. I just posted a new podcast on there last night, actually. And, uh, thank y'all for watching, and, uh, 10X, man.